Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Urinary. Today we're making this gorgeous flower granny square. This 3D flower granny square is so fun to make just using little scraps of yarn, four different colors, one for your center and three colors for your petals. It is also part of the Bloomscape Cal 2023. The Bloomscape Cal is one new <laughs> granny square, one new flower center. If you want to join in on the Bloomscape Cal 2023, I will link that playlist in the description box down below, as well as the cards up above. And it's not too late to join. We're just making one new center just like this every month and then turning it into the block. If you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, it's available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I'm speaking in this video. To make this 3D flower granny square, you will need yarn. I'm using six different shades of Favorite from Ice Yarns. I'll link this in the description box down below. You need one color for the center and three colors for your petals, one color for your leaves, and one color to make your block. I will be using a five millimeter crochet hook for all of my Bloomscape Cal blocks and all of these granny squares. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a needle for sewing in your ends. So let's get started. Starting with your center color, make a slip knot any which way you normally do. Shrink that down and pop it onto your hook. Chain three. One, two, and three. Now we're going to make a ring. We're going to go into that very first chain we made right here. If you'd rather do a magic ring, you are welcome to do so. But pop your hook into that very first chain we made and get yourself a little U shape underneath your hook just like that. So slide everything up onto the fat part of your hook, make a little U shape, and hold that U shape open with your finger and thumb, taking care to hold your tail along with that U shape, and slip stitch to join to form a ring, and still hold that open with your finger and thumb. Chain one, and now we're gonna do 12 double crochets into the center of that ring, right where we're holding it open. So pop your hook in, 12 double crochets. One, two, three. If you run out of room, just grab that starting chain and just slide those stitches back to give yourself some more room to make your double crochets lay nice and flat. Now just count to make sure you have 12 and slip stitch to that first real double crochet to join right there. So slip stitch in to that first double crochet. Two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook. Slip stitch and chain one. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes round one. Grab the color yarn that you're using for your first round of petals, and we're gonna be working into front loops for this next round. So we're gonna start, here's our join. We're not going into that stitch right after the join. We're gonna go into the front loop, so just one strand of yarn on our hook, and we're gonna go second strand over, and I'll show you why when we get back around. So into the second stitch, just picking up that one front loop only. So slide your hook in, loop of your new yarn on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, just holding it a little bit along with your work, and chain one. Wrap your yarn and make two double crochets into that same front loop, into that same spot. There's one and two Chain two, one, and two, and slip stitch into that same front loop. One slip stitch. Now into the next front loop, 
right here. Just pop your hook in one loop, that front loop only on your hook. Slip stitch to start your new petal. Chain two, one and two, and two double crochets into that same front loop. There's one and two. Chain two, one and two, and into that same space, that same front loop, slip stitch to finish that petal. Just like that. So we're going to do this into every front loop all the way around this round. So every front loop is going to get a petal. So into the next front loop, slide your hook in. We're going to make a petal. And petals for this round are one slip stitch, chain two, one and two, two double crochets, one and two, and chain two, one, two, and we're going to slip stitch to finish off that petal. Slip stitch into the very same front loop, just like that. So we're going to do that into every single front loop all the way around. We're going to make 12 petals. So into the next front loop, just that first strand on your hook, slip stitch, chain two, two double crochets, one, and two, and chain two, one, two, and slip stitch to finish the petal. Slip stitch into the very same front loop, just like that. So now you can pause the video and keep working around. One petal into each front loop all the way around, and I'll meet you when we get closer to that join. Are you enjoying yourself? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more fun content just like this. When you get back closer to that join, just count your petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So now I know I only have to make one more petal in that area there. That's why I like to start my new color right after my join, so I can always adjust if I need to put in an extra petal if my stitch count went a little bit off. So last petal into the last front loop, just like that. Slip stitch into that very first front loop, one slip stitch, chain one, and now we are ready to start the next round, but we're not going to change our yarn color. Now we're going to work in to the back loops. So turning your work over, we want to look for a back loop that is nearby. You could pick either one, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go a little bit behind and go for this back loop right there. So we're just going to slide that back loop onto our hook and slip stitch and chain one. Now into that very same loop, we're going to do two half double crochets. So sliding that back loop back on my hook, two half doubles into the same stitch. One and two. Into the next back loop. See how I'm just pulling my petals down and pinching them so they stay out of the way? Then you can see your back loops a lot easier. So there's one and there's two. So we're going to do two half double crochets into each back loop. Make sure I get all of it. There we go. All the way around our flower. So one and two half double crochets. Fold the next petals down so we can see that next back loop right here. Two half double crochets. One and two. Fold your next petals down so you can see your next back loop right here. Two half double crochets. One and two. So now I can pause the video and keep working around. Two half double crochets into every back loop all the way around. There'll be 12 back loops that we're working into, and I'll meet you when we get back closer to where we started. 
When you get back to where we started, just turn your work over. We want to make sure we've worked into 12 back loops. So how you can tell that is you can just look here where your stitches came from. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that is what we want. We want to work into those twelve back loops. If you're enjoying this video, hit that thumbs up. If you need to add one, you can always add it right where we joined our yarn. Just put in two more uh, half double crochets. Now into the top of that first half double right here, we are going to slip stitch to join. So slip stitch, slip stitch to join, and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. And that finishes the second color. To start the third color, look for where our join was. We're going to work into the front loops again. So there's our join with our last color. I'm going to join into this front loop right there, right after our join. I've skipped one and I'm working into the second. So into the second front loop after we joined our yarn, we're just going to slide our hook in just like we did before. Grab your next color of yarn, loop of yarn on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail just holding it along the side of your work and chain one. Into the same front loop, one double crochet. And into the next front loop, right here, we're going to do one double crochet. Just into that next front loop, one double crochet, chain two, and slip stitch. So for this round, we're doing our pedal into two front loops. Into the next front loop, just slide your hook in and slip stitch chain two, and one double crochet. And into the next front loop, right there, one double crochet, chain two, and slip stitch. So we're doing the same pedal we did before, but we're just doing it into two front loops instead of all into one. So into the next front loop, slip stitch, chain two, and one double crochet. That starts our pedal. And then to finish our pedal in the next front loop, just that one front loop only, one double crochet, chain two, and slip stitch. So that's what we're going to do all the way around for this round. So our pedal into two front loops. So starting in the next front loop, slip stitch, chain two, and one double crochet. Wrap your yarn and into the next front loop, one double crochet, chain two, and slip stitch. So you can pause the video and keep working around, making a slip stitch, chain two, and double crochet into the first front loop, and a double crochet, chain two, slip stitch into the second front loop, all the way around, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back closer to where we started, just count, you should have 11 petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. So we're going to make our last petal into these stitches here, but if you miscounted in your previous row, you have to add a petal or take a petal away. There's enough spaces in here where you can do that. So into the next front loop, I'm going to start my last petal with my slip stitch chain two, one double crochet. And then after the join, into that front loop after, right here, that's where I'm going to finish my petal. 
So one double crochet. Chain two and slip stitch. Slip stitch into the next front loop just to join it all up and chain one. And now we're going to turn our work over so we can look at the back. We want to be looking for a back loop that is right where our yarn is. So I could pick this little guy here or this one. I'm going to back up a little bit and pick this back loop, but it doesn't matter. Just pick one in that neighborhood. So into that back loop and slip stitch to join, chain one, folding those petals down, keeping them out of our way, into that very same back loop. I want to do one half double crochet. So one half double crochet into that same back loop. And into the next back loop, I'm going to do two half double crochets. So an increase every other back loop. So there's two half double crochets into the next. So here's my back loops. You can just, if you fold your petals down, you can see them sitting on the edge. So into the next back loop, one half double crochet and into the next back loop two half double crochets. So an increase every other stitch for this round. So one half double crochet and then two half double crochets into the next back loop. One and two. And just pinch your petals out of the way so that you can see those back loops. Make it easier for yourself and then you can just pause the video and keep working along making one half double crochet into the first stitch and two half double crochets into the second stitch all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back to where you started, you can just count to make sure you have 36 stitches or that you just worked in to all of your back loops. And we're going to slip stitch to the top of that first half double crochet to join right there. So just pop your hook in, two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook and slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes your third color. To start your fourth color, we are going to join again after our previous join. Just the second front loop only after that join. Slide your hook in, loop of yarn on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail just holding it along the edge of your work and chain one. Wrap your yarn into that same front loop, one double crochet, just like we did before. And into the next front loop, right here, we're going to do two treble crochets. So wrap your yarn twice and into the next front loop only, two treble crochets. One. and two. Into your next front loop, we're going to finish our petals. So we're going to finish our petal with one double crochet, chain two, one and two, and a slip stitch into that same front loop to join. One slip stitch. So into the next front loop, we're going to start our petal. So slip stitch, chain two, and one double crochet. So that starts our petal. Into the next front loop only, just the front loop, we're going to do two treble crochets. So that's the middle of our petal. One 
and two, and into the next front loop only, right here, one double crochet, chain two, and slip stitch to finish that petal. Just like that. So for this round, we are gonna be doing our petal into three front loops. So we're starting our petal in one loop, we're doing two treble crochets into the second front loop, and then we're finishing with a double crochet chain two slip stitch into the third. So into the first front loop, we'll start your petal, so slip stitch, chain two, and one double crochet. Into the next front loop, two treble crochets, one, and two, and into the next front loop, we're gonna finish our petal, so one double crochet, chain two, and one slip stitch to finish the petal. Just like that. So now you can pause the video and keep working around, doing your petal into three front loops, starting slip stitch, chain two, double crochet, the next one, two treble crochets, and the last one, one double crochet, chain two, slip stitch, all the way around, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back to where you joined, we're just gonna do our last petal into these last front loops. But if you need to adjust your stitch count, make sure you've already done your 11 petals and your 12th petal fits right in here. Just like that and slip stitch into that first front loop just to join it up. Chain one to secure your yarn. And we're finished with that color, so cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. So that finishes the fourth color, and now we are ready to turn this cute little circle into a square. To turn this gorgeous little flower into a square, just turn your work over a little bit. We wanna find any loop back here. Flip your flower over and hold those petals back. I'm gonna do it right where I joined again. Just one little stitch ahead of where I joined. That always gives me enough leeway to fix any stitch count error I may or may not have. Loop of your new color on your hook. This is for the leaves. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Dropping your tail, just holding it along the top of your work, and chain one. So that's gonna count as our first single crochet. Now, holding your petals down, we're looking for those back loops again. So there's back loops all the way around the edge of our flower. So into the first back loop, one single crochet and one single crochet into each back loop all the way around. So we're not doing any increases or anything fancy, just one single crochet into each back loop all the way around. So you can pause the video, just keep working your way around, one single crochet into each back loop all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back closer to where we started. When you get back to where we started, just go around and make sure you have 36 stitches. Now we're gonna slip stitch to the top of our chain right there, the top of our first stitch. Just pop your hook in, you need at least two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook, and slip stitch to join. And chain four. One, two, three, and four. I went to the very same spot, the very same stitch, one treble crochet, right where you started that chain. So wrap your yarn twice and one treble crochet, one, two, and three, chain two, one, and two. Now we're gonna skip two stitches, one and two, and we're gonna work in to the third into the third stitch, one single crochet, chain two, 
skip two, one and two, into the third, one single crochet, chain two, skip two, one, two. So into the third, wrap your yarn twice, and we're going to do a corner. Corners, two treble crochets, wrap your yarn twice, one more treble crochet into that same stitch, chain two, one, and two, wrap your yarn twice, and two more treble crochets into that same stitch. So that's how we're going to be doing our corners. There's one treble crochet, and here is another. Chain two, one and two, and that is our corner. Skip two stitches, so skip those, into the third one single crochet. Chain two, one and two, skip two, and into the third one single crochet. Chain two, skip two, and into the third we're going to do a corner. So wrap your yarn twice, corners are two treble crochets, chain two, and two treble crochets all into the same stitch. So there's my second treble crochet, chain two, wrap your yarn twice, and two more treble crochets into that same stitch. One, and two. Chain two, one and two, skip two stitches and into the third one single crochet. Chain two, skip two, into the third one single crochet. Chain two, skip two, into the third we're going to do a corner. Corners, two treble crochets, chain two, and two treble crochets all into the same stitch. So there's one treble crochet, there is two treble crochets, chain two, wrap your yarn twice, and two more treble crochets into that same stitch. One, and here is number two. Chain two, skip two, into the third one single crochet. Chain two, skip two, into the third one single crochet. Chain two, and now we are back to where we started. We're going to skip two and we're right back into that corner space. If your stitches don't line up, if you have an extra stitch or a one stitch short, you don't have to worry about it. You're not really going to notice after the next round anyway. So wrap your yarn twice and into that very same spot where we did our chain and our first treble crochet. We're going to finish that corner with two treble crochets. There's one. and two, chain two, one and two, and into the top of your chain four, right there, we're going to slip stitch right into the top of that chain four. So pop your hook in, two strands of that chain on the top of your hook, and slip stitch to join, chain one to secure your yarn, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes your fifth color. To turn it into the block or the square, just pop your hook in to any corner space, loop of your block color or your square color on your hook, bring it through slip stitch with both strands to join and drop your tail just holding it along the top of your work and chain two. One and two. Into that very same corner space, two double crochets. One 
and two. Jumping over into the next space, so after that corner, right over here, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and here is number three. Next we have our corner. So whenever you get to the corner with your tail, just bring your tail forward so you can work over it with those corner stitches. Into your corner space, we're gonna do a corner. Corners are three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, and two and three more double crochets into the same corner space. One, two, and three. Now into each of these three spaces along the side, each of those are gonna get three double crochets. So you can pause the video and do three double crochets into each space along the side, and I'll meet you when we get to our corner. When we get to our corner space, we're gonna do a corner, so corners get corners. Corners, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets all into the same corner space. There's two, there's three, chain two, turn your work a little bit or rotate it so we can do our next three double crochets into the same corner space. You can slide those stitches back if you need some more room. And three double crochets just to finish that corner. There's one, two, and three, just like that. So you can pause the video and keep working along. Three double crochets into each space along the sides and corners, three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back up to where we started, into that same corner space, you can just slide those stitches forward to give yourself a bit more room. We're gonna end with three double crochets into the same corner space where we started. So one, two, and three. If you are gonna keep going and make it into the Bloomscape Cal or a larger granny square, you're gonna join with a chain one and a single crochet to join. So single crochet into the top of that chain three. That's gonna leave you right nice in the center of that corner. So single crochet to join. You just hold that space open with your finger and chain three. One, two, three. Go ahead and turn your work. If you're doing the Bloomscape Cal, you are gonna make your first single crochet right over here and continue following the video. I'll link it up in the cards. You'll just continue right from here. If you are making your granny square bigger, you'll just do your first two double crochets right into this same corner space. One and two. Pop a stitch marker into that corner space just to remind yourself of where you started and then keep going around just regular granny stitches three into each space and your regular corners all the way around until your granny square is the size you would like it to be. Or if you're finishing it off this size, do a chain two, one and two and slip stitch right to the top of that chain three, slip stitch to join, chain one to secure your yarn, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there and stay hooked.